Hello, my name is uh, Carlos Brito. I'm a student ambassador here at Clovis Community College. Um, here with me is one of our criminology professors, uh, Mr. Richard Gallegos. Uh, can you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, my name is Richard Gallegos, and uh, I'm an adjunct at uh, Fresno City College and Clovis Community College. Awesome. Thank you for, uh, uh, thank you for coming here today. Um, so my first question would be is to just um, um, give us some background, like um, what did you do before teaching um, and, you know, like that? Well, I uh, came from, that, from a small town down from Southern California, uh, and I came to Fresno State to get my bachelor's degree in criminology. Um, while there, I started uh, the, the one-way program at Fresno State, which uh, when you finish with the one-way program, you're a reserve deputy for the sheriff's department. Um, and uh, I still remember the first day I put the uniform on, um, looking in the mirror, and uh, I was hooked. So uh, after, after graduating from college, I went in to work for the sheriff's department, I put myself through the academy. Um, and since then, I've been on patrol. I worked uh, the vice intel and the terrorism unit. I worked uh, undercover a lot, about eight, nine years undercover, uh, then worked homicide. Um, and then after that, I got promoted to be a sergeant on patrol. So, and then um, I, throughout the whole process of going to school or of working, I went to school, I kept going to school. So I got my master's and uh, I finished all the schoolwork for my doctorate. I just got finished a thesis. So that in between, what happened was I got uh, back surgery in the, during that time. And um, so I had to uh, put off and they kind of medically retired me. Um, and so I have my education. I've always wanted to teach. Um, so I just started teaching and uh, but I still love the job. And I encourage anybody who wants to get into it. It's not probably the perfect time right now because, you know, with all the stuff in the media, but um, it's, a, it's a great job. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for your service to our community. And mm -hmm. thank you. Um, so my question is, um, what made you decide to teach um, criminology classes in general? Like I said, um, I still remember the first day I put the uniform on and um, I fell in love with it. I was hooked. Um, every day is a different day. You don't know what, you, what you're going to uh, encounter that day on patrol. So it changes constantly. Um, and I like that. I'm not the same old routine kind of guy. Um, and I like helping people. I have, uh, it's something that I enjoy doing. I, you know, I always go do the, give the extra mile or the, you know, um, Whenever there's somebody in need, I go help them. Um, even now, um, there's probably the wooden flag up there on top. Uh, I, I started making those and selling them over uh, all last year in order to raise money um, for people that are going to the, to the academy, the fire academy or police academy. Um, and I, I donated the, the wood and lumber and I just do it myself. And, um, and then I also started a scholarship um, for first responders at the Clovis College. So I just I enjoy the subject matter. It's uh, fun, interesting. Um, it changes constantly. So if you don't keep up to date with it, and it uh, uh, you're gonna fall behind. And you can't say on patrol that well I didn't know the law that, that that was a new law. You can't use that excuse on patrol. You have to know. You have to keep on top of all, everything that's coming out. So and so I just fell in love with the subject and the, awesome. the field. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so in teaching your criminology courses, because I know you teach a variety of them, uh, what is your favorite topic to teach? Um, obviously, I like, I worked a lot on undercover stuff, so vice, uh, the intelligence unit, um, which is organized crime. Uh, I like, you know, digging and digging and digging and digging. Um, so if you're into that, um, I enjoyed, I enjoyed that particular part of the, of the, the field. Um, I also like the homicide part, you know, where um, I remember working homicide, the hours were long, you know, it's like that 48 hours show where, um, you get called out. Um, that's probably one of the bad things about law enforcement is the hours, you know, if you, if you plan something, expect to be called because you're going to be called the day you plan to go somewhere. Um, I remember that. And, um, uh, so if you, I like the homicide, I like the law part the cons constitutional law, the criminal law, um, but uh, I enjoyed all that, all that, uh, those, those three areas, I believe is my, my expertise. Um, um, the, currently, I think there's like two shows on Discovery Channel where either I'm featured in it or I took part in, in the homicide investigation in those. 
Oh, wow. So, that's awesome. That's awesome. Good for you. That's <laughs> really cool. I know when I was taking your classes, that, I enjoyed um, learning about that as well. So um, what is your favorite part? Um, what is your favorite part about being a professor? I like interacting with students. Um, I try to bring kind of a little bit of some humor into teaching. Um, I hate when it's boring. Um, and I, I expect students to share their opinion. You know, we don't all have the same. Um, and that's what college is about, I believe. I, you know, just sharing your opinion. It makes the class more interesting. If you, if you disagree with me, you disagree with me. Um, so I, I enjoy that part of it. So don't just sit there and just, and just, um, just be, just sit there and just, you know, bring, get everything, let everything sink in, but um, share your opinion also. Um, and I expect that in the class. That's awesome. That is awesome. So um, I know with COVID going on, things have been um, a lot different, but what are some, what are some positive things you're looking forward to in the upcoming semester in the fall? I, I hope. We're not sure yet. I'm not sure if it's been set in stone that we're not going to go back. Is uh, there is no decision. As of right <laughs> yeah. <now. laughs> so I um, obviously I, I like teaching. So I like talking, talking to students. So I prefer in-person teaching, obviously, because um, some people don't get my humor uh, when it's, not, <laughs> when it's, when it's uh, on the computer. But uh, so I like interacting with people, um, just uh, hearing their opinion, talking to them. Um, getting to know people. And it's hard to get to know a lot of people, get to know people personally or, or um, get to know who they are uh, on the computer because all you see is a picture or a, a video. So it's um, difficult, but uh, I hope we go back um, in person and I enjoy interacting with the students. It's, it's um, and sharing uh, just things that I know. So I understand. I'm looking forward to hopefully being back, um, back in camps as well. I love interacting as well. All right. Um, so how, what is, um, what is the, the most, um, not what is the most, what is some advice you'd give to students who are currently um, pursuing your major? What are some advice for them? Um, I would say pick an area that you're interested in and just keep pursuing, keep learning. Um, don't sit back, like I said before, don't sit back in the class and just, um, just sit there and be a statue, I guess, and just, um, share your opinion and what you believe or ask questions. It just makes the class more interesting. It also makes the class go by faster. Um, not that, that there's an argument or a debate, but just that there's different types of opinion or um, they believe a different thing. So I didn't expect all that, you know, even if I'm, they think I'm wrong and uh, I, I never shoot anybody down. I, I expect that if they think that I'm wrong, then I'm, you know, I, I, I appreciate that, that feedback. So um, also, don't fall behind. That's another thing I say, would say to students is that once you fall behind, um, it's easier to put the next one off or put the next one off. So um, just keep up to date, just up to the, keep up with your assignments, I guess. And, um, and don't, there's a big, sometimes there's a culture shock when it comes to kids coming out of high school. So um, don't expect the teacher to come approach you um, you come to, uh, to the instructor and tell them that, you know, I had a problem or this come, has come up um, and I can't do this or that. And so, um, and hopefully most instructors are uh, understanding and uh, we'll, uh, especially during, during the COVID time right now is we uh, will kind of bend over backwards for, for students. So that's good. Um, awesome. Any last advice for incoming freshmen of all majors or just that um, same thing, just uh, interact in class. Um, get, um, find something you, you like and you pursue. Um, it, it could be, you know, a lot of people are into the forensics part aspect of it and uh, start learning about it. You know, I, that's one thing I did at, while working through the, at, at the Sheriff's Department, I continued going to school because I just enjoyed um, learning more and more. Um, another thing is, Another, I would, I, I think they should do is have fun. It's college, so you should be having fun at the same time or learning. So, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Gallegos. Um, Mr. Gallegos is one of the, um, in my opinion, one of the best instructors <laughs> on campus. Um, thank you for having us here, and uh, thank you to Mr. Jade for interpreting. Thank you. I um, really appreciate him being here as well. Um, and thank you guys for joining in. Thank you. Thank you for having me.